good morning everyone. Welcome back to The 5 Reasons. I am Matthew Oliver, your wedding planner, helping you create your fantastic, beautiful day. The weather is still here, I can't believe it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to be like this forever. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of a hopeful judgement there, um, but at least hopefully it's here till October so I can have my good birthday. So today's 5 Reasons is what tasks to delegate to guests and friends and family. We all know the wedding process is quite difficult at times and there's always something to do when people offer. But there's certain tasks on the day, maybe even lead up to a day, which are very, very important. And if you're feeling confident, then obviously um, tell someone they have to do it. Because especially if you're doing it on your own and you've got no planner, the venue is basically a blank canvas and you've got no one actually helping you at the venue, then you do need to de delegate tasks. Definitely, 100% needed. Because without these tasks being completed by certain individuals, there won't be a design, there won't be a wedding look, you know, so you need to make sure you delegate properly and efficiently and you delegate to the right people as well because you don't want the wrong person doing the job, you know, you have to get the perfect individual, like an interview for instance, you need to interview your guests maybe and see if they're the best person to do it, okay? So the first reason on what to delegate or a task to delegate is the setup of venues. This is so important, especially if you have got this massive design aspect for your wedding. So the setup of venues could be the ceremony venue and the actual reception venue. Set up meaning all the little de decorations, maybe cake tables, um, you've got all the tables as well, the seating plan, who's sitting where, name cards, stuff on the table, favours, you know, if it's a big wedding, this is going to take a lot of time. So set up a venues is quite difficult. So you need to maybe get a few people to, you know, to tell, you know, to do that task. So that's the first one, which is something to delegate at your wedding. Second one, Toastmasters. Okay, Toastmasters are people that shout out at weddings and coordinate, like, okay, so... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to move into such and such a room for your the wedding breakfast or the wedding speeches, you know, so you need to do shout outs. And it's difficult when there's a lot of guests. I won't, you know, I won't lie. I obviously do this at weddings that I plan. But there's, I feel like it's very important and it's very organised and it's very efficient. Otherwise, it's a mess. No one's really knows what's going on, no one knows where to go next. So make sure you've got someone that's confident to do the Toastmaster skills and shout outs throughout the wedding. Photos, um, people moving from different rooms to different rooms. There's, you know, there's quite a few places where Toastmasters come in. Um, third reason, not four, third, three, is stationary design. There could be someone on the lead up to a day that's got really good graphic skills. I know loads of my friends have and obviously I do a lot of graphic work as well. So you need, might need someone, if you're looking for a budgeted wedding, someone that can create your stationery. Um, invite, save a date, menu cards, table names, name, you know, people, seating plans. <laughs> name cards, that's it, I was trying to get name cards up. I think I actually said name cards already, didn't I? So don't listen to me. But yeah, so this is another delegated task for a certain individual, which is great. And obviously it'll save a lot of money from stationery. But, you know, it's you still need someone to actually set up all this. So that's the third reason. Fourth reason, on the day of the wedding, if you have got thousands of, upon thousands of suppliers arriving at different times, the band, florists, um, caterers, there's always good to have an actual contact so they can go and see them instead of coming to you because the worst thing on your wedding day is people disturbing you and like oh I've arrived now where do you want me to put my stuff no don't ever suggest it to be you and your 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 bride or you and your groom so just make sure you've got a main contact for the supplier think of them as a wedding panel on the day or wedding coordinator people go to them for decision making and you know arrival times and everything okay is this getting a bit too much for you um, and fifth reason, you definitely, definitely, definitely need someone to be supporting you, the bride, with your dress, okay? Possibly a bridesmaid, but this is another delegated task for, to a certain individual. I hate when I go to a wedding and there's always loads of thousands of bridesmaids and 
they don't actually follow you and help you with your dress, especially if it's a massive train. I'm the one that tends to like help you, and it's like, okay, you got bridesmaids, like ten bridesmaids. Why are they not helping? Because it's quite a big task to make sure you're all right and that you go from certain place to certain place. That is actually one of the main bridesmaids' tasks to support you and carry your dress train. <laughs> so make sure they know this and make sure they maybe split and split and um, split it down to certain times when they come and support you. Because the worst thing is having your dress ruined. Um, you trip over it, that is very bad. So these are delegated tasks to certain individuals, important people for your wedding day. Make sure you delegate, especially these tasks, these are the biggest tasks on the day. There's obviously thousands of little ones here and there, but if it's a bit too much and you want your guests to enjoy themselves and not be d doing work on the day, hire a wedding coordinator for the day. We we are here to help you and make your day perfect. We do offer on the day services and obviously we do offer the full plan services but the on the day service is efficient enough for these jobs to be done because this is something that we all do. Okay? I love you all. I've spoken quite a lot on this video so I do apologise about that but I hope it's gotten the message across that there's a lot of tasks that need to be delegated on your wedding day because you shouldn't be doing it on the day of your wedding because you're getting married. Love you all, stay tuned, and thank you so much for watching and all your fantastic support on these videos. Goodbye. Mwah.